Hello, welcome back to uh, Chihuahua Land. That's what we're calling this, right? Uh, once we find a dog. Okay. Oh, the dog's going to be a Chihuahua? Yes. Okay. Good to know. And I'm here with... Or its name will be Chihuahua, even though it's not necessarily one. Okay. And we do have a name tag now, so we can name the dog. Oh, good. Um, so, I'm here with Chihuahua Power G. Hello. And we are searching for, for a dog. We need a dog badly. So. Oh, look, you were in a ring. Okay, following you. Is Bowser snoring on your lap? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the real Chihuahua. <coughs> Don't make me cough. I'm sorry. You're coughing, just so everyone knows, you're coughing because you've, you've had the flu or cold or something. For, for two weeks. For a couple of weeks. It was pretty nasty cough. But it's getting better. Yay. Okay. Pork, 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 chickens. Chickens. Um. Oh, you know what we could have done? Oh. Gone under our tunnels and come up? N into the right pile? Maybe. Um, if we... Actually, we could might be able to do that. The cool thing about maps is they actually work when you're underground. <laughs> um, oh, I thought that was a creeper. Just I think I did go under, peony. I did dig under a taiga. You might, oh, did you see it on your F3 screen or something? Yes. Ah, okay. It's entirely possible and that's one way to do it. However, when we get a little bit more geared up and we recover, I'm going to kill some of these chickens. Why? Feathers. Oh. So if we find some uh, some gravel, what do I kill them with? Sword. A stake. Sword. Um, you. It will probably take a couple hits with the stake. <laughs> Your stake is not a particularly efficient weapon. What well, about an egg? Uh, same thing. It's no different from the I stake. Think I'm gonna kill it with an egg just for the poetry of it. Okay. So okay, so this hill that you're facing here. Yeah. Why don't you come up here a bit? Higher? Um, yeah, come up higher. I just walked past you. Oh, there you are. So come on up. Let's put down our beds and because it's no, getting we dark. Need to kill some no, no. Uh, okay. Some skeletons. Okay, it might get it might get scary quickly though. Is the problem? So okay, let's put our beds down. Because there's nothing. Well, we can go a little bit and see how it gets. Okay. Okay. So follow me. <laughs> Stay close. Where are you? <laughs> right in okay. front of you. Are you moving? Yes. Uh, lag. Yeah, our our connection is still pretty poor. Where are you, skeletons? They will start spawning. So should I be ready to throw the bed down? Uh, yeah. Although if we get in trouble, that won't help because it'll tell us we can't sleep because there are monsters nearby. Oh, really? I yeah. didn't know that. That's scary. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna walk down the hill here. You have to be careful because over here it turns into a cliff. So you have to come around to the side, and Ooh. there's a bit of a cave here, which I'm going to put down a couple torches. Yeah. We're going in. Up, oh, zombie. Oh, zombie, but there's also a witch behind the zombie, so don't go too far in. I'm just standing here killing him. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Got him. And you might want to back out just so you don't have to deal with that witch. Okay. I think I saw a witch. I don't want to. I'm going to take a peek and see if I can confirm that or not. Because if not, going into the cave here might actually be a good thing while it's dark out. Um, no, you know, I think I saw this is basically a little cave that goes through and comes out the other side on the side of the hill. So am I following you? Um, yes, I am. Okay. I see a skeleton. Oh, good. Where? He's on a hill over there. Where are you? Right Jump up you. here and look 
Over that way. Oh, there he is. Move out of my way and I'll shoot him. And he's pretty far away, so you have to give a little bit more vertical. It's the hardest thing to get used to with the bows. <laughs> so you have to aim. Ooh. This might just be a waste of arrows. You just turned. Okay. Can we go closer? Let's let's just go over there and kill him the old fashioned way. With swords? Yeah. Or you can shoot him once we get closer. Where'd he go? Where is he? Uh, I don't know. I lost track of him. Oh, there he is. There. Come here. Uh-oh, something hit me. Uh, he probably was shooting at you. He's dead. Yeah. Uh, let me go over there and pick up his residue. I'm not letting you out of my sight. And I said that and I let you out of my sight. <laughs> I've completely lost you. No, no, you're, you're, you're right behind me. Where are you? I got a couple of arrows out of that. I'm up, I'm up above you. Okay, so up to the right? Straight ahead. To your right a little bit, yeah. Around this tree? <gasps> oh, hello, Mr. Skeleton. Where? Just past, uh, just keep walking. <laughs> Which direction? I got him. And I got a bone. Oh, and there's a, he's got a friend. I've completely lost you, babe. Okay. Okay. Hang on a second. I hear a spider. Which direction are you? I have a compass. The, unfortunately, compasses don't crap. Damn it. Hey, Mr. Spider, let me kill you. Are you up on the hill? Yeah, I'm up on the hill. So I'll just keep going higher and see what happens. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Okay. Come here. This doesn't help necessarily for the dog bit, but what I was looking for is over that direction. And it, as the sun comes up, it'll be a kind of a neat little sight. So. Okay. Do skeletons walk on top of trees? They can. But the sun's about to come up, so... Oh no, it's actually freaking the middle of the night. Well, let me eat. I'm hungry. And I'm hurt. Come on, where are you, skeletons? Okay. I need your bones. Okay, so... You see those big, tall trees on the horizon over this way? Yeah. That's a jungle. Okay. That's where we're going. We're not going to wait for the sunset. Where are you, skeletons? Come on. I'm sure we'll run into skeletons on the way over there. Should I have my sword out or my bow and arrow? Um, whatever. It's your preference. I find swords good. So just if somebody sneaks up on you. So you if you just... get, yeah, if you find yourself in a sudden thing, you don't. <coughs> Chicken. Ooh. Chicken. Oh, oh. Skeleton. Where? Oh, right there. Ow. I got him. Yay. Bones. Ooh, bones. And a bow and arrows. Yeah. How, how many arrows do you have? Right now, I have 19. You have arrows sticking out of you. Yeah, I'm sure I do. So when you heal, do those go away? Yeah, they'll they'll disappear. Do they end up in your pocket? I threw a few more arrows at you. Oh, thank you. Um, no, they don't end up in your pocket. That would be a really nice feature. Okay, so uh, I have I have a whole pocket just full of crap that I don't need. Should I kill one of these uh, chickens for feathers? Sure, I have like six feathers. Hey guys, sorry. We'll, we'll need flint. The feathers by themselves aren't that useful, but... 
Okay, let's keep wandering this direction slowly. Okay. And hopefully we can find ourselves some more skeletons along the way. Ah, okay. So there's a couple things we're looking for here in the jungle. This is a jungle. Okay. Um, I just lost you. We're looking for zombies on fire. Well, given how much shade there is in the jungle, that's not necessarily going to be easy to find. Okay. But, um, but, so see all these vines here? Yeah. Did you bring clippers? Nope, I don't have any. Oh, okay. That's fine. Oh, you know what? In the lava. How do I make them? Uh, do you have any iron? Mm, no. That's okay. Because I just made some. What are you doing? I'm clipping the vines. Why? So we can get vines. Oh. Vines. What do we clip them with? Clippers. Shears. Sword? No, sword won't do. You have to use shears. Okay, so. Uh, so the not, the one of the cool things about it, like if you come up to a tree here that's got Why like... Why do you have a chicken floating here? Chicken? You mean that rotten flesh you just picked up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so the cool thing is the vines grow on the trees like this. Yeah. And you can use them like ladders. Oh, cool. But you have to be careful because you, if you fall off, you'll, you'll get hurt. Uh, so on the trees, on jungle wood, and I brought my axe so we can collect some jungle wood. And hopefully jungle wood saplings. So on the trees... On the jungle wood trees. Um, come on. There we go. Okay. So on the jungle wood trees, you will see little brown pods. Okay. Those are cocoa beans. They're what? Cocoa beans. Coconuts? Cocoa beans. Oh, so coffee? Uh, no, cocoa beans, chocolate? like chocolate. Come on, come on, wood. Oh, come on, pshaw. Pick up. There we go. Uh, so I want to collect some jungle wood, and um, and I want to find some cocoa beans. Especially since you, with your skin, we should make you some cookies. And you can make cookies with cocoa beans. Uh, Travis gave me some in the other one. Yeah. So. Uh, I think I lost you already. No, I'm right behind you. Okay. Oh, there's a sapling. What am I supposed to be doing right now? Um, I don't know. I'm waiting for this sapling to. For these leaves to despawn so I can get that sapling. So jungle jungle trees are very stingy with their saplings unfortunately um let's see i don't need this redstone okay that's oak tree i would like some saplings i can come back and we can i can get some of this stuff um at a later time we if don't I had have an axe i'd grab some too well you could use just a, a torch or your hand a what just your hand to get the to get what to chop down the jungle trees but that's okay I've got some I've got nine jungle wood in my pocket oh I hear lava keep it away from me do I hear lava or is that you? that might be you moving okay okay so let's wander into the jungle hey, I'm, I'm cutting down a tree with my blue fur arm okay Oh, and then that spot filled with wood, so now it's trying to... No, jump up on top of that. And then you can reach higher to get the... the no, but my um, my hot bar. Oh, but you can use the wood. Oh. Use it against itself? Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, 
come on. Okay. Ah, You're standing on dirt, right? I was, well, I was, and then I broke the dirt. What's this redstone floating over here? I, I It was in my pocket. I didn't want it. I'll take it. Okay. If you've got room. Oh, come on. You stick. Okay, let's find dogs. <laughs> okay, patience. We're in a jungle. Imp very important. We need to find... We need to find melons. Melons? Yeah. Oh, I see cocoa beans. What does melons look like? They look like melon. They look like watermelons. Okay, what do cocoa beans look like? I'll show you. Come over here. I'm here. You just can't tell yet. Hello, squids. Jungle cow. Oh, that's weird. So squids won't hurt you, right? No. Nah. Thank you for the uh, ink sacks. Ink sacks. Oh, those cocoa beans, those brown things? Yep. The little lanterns? I see more. Yay. Okay, so we got cocoa beans, we got jungle wood. Um, so the other thing we need from the jungle is we need melons. Okay. Wait, where'd you go? There you are. How many cocoa beans do we need? Uh, we can grow them once we have some. So I have nine. I have. Uh, what do they look like in the bot? In the they look like little brown dirt, <laughs> little brown specks. Cocoa beans. I have three. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um, so, I believe that sort of beyond the jungle is a taiga biome. So, and this lets us get a sense of how big this jungle is. You still following me? Yep, except there's some cocoa beans up there. I want. Okay. Hang on. One sec. I lost track of you. Okay, I think I see you. <gasps> what? Okay, come towards me. What are you reacting to? I'll show you. There you are. Okay. Ooh, what's that yellow stuff? This? Yep. Moss? That is a melon. Oh, hey. And I don't need that. Now, I have a silk touch enchantment on my on my axe. So I'm picking them up as melons. Normally, when you break a melon, it breaks into a bunch of slices. Oh, you must have picked one up. Do you have one in your pocket? Uh, what's it look like? A watermelon? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Um so normally you break it and you get a bunch of slices and the slices don't you can reconstruct slices back into melons but generally when you break a melon it doesn't give you enough slices to make a complete melon oh. so that's why having a silk touch axe for melons is useful okay good so one of us has to make it home with the melons 
Okay. So we can start growing melon seeds. Yeah. And that's critical when we get. So that, uh, that makes us almost ready to go into the nether. Let's find dogs. Okay. So let's keep walking this way. Okay. Sun just came up, so let's get out of here. Doggies. Let's go find dogs. Wow. Okay, be careful when you step. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When you step out of a thing like this, there's always a chance that there's like a creeper up above you. Oh. So. So, we make our way up. Ah, stop it. To the top of the mountain here. Let's see what we got. I hear a doggy. No. You do? Yeah, well. Oh, I hear one of ours. On your lap, yeah. Okay, so this is an extreme hill extreme hills biome. I remember being over one of the, under one of these when I was caving. Yeah, we have some closer to our place, so. Creeper. Where? In the middle of the meadow by some yellow flowers. Oh, okay. I'm not, not too worried Should about I that. Should kill him with the... No, don't, don't waste any arrows at this point. I lost you. I'm probably above you. Oh, there you are. Oh, no. Okay, I see you. So let's head over kind of this direction where you're going. And uh, so extreme hills tend to be... Extreme and hilly? Yeah, extremely hilly. Oh, so is the creeper down here, down below us? He see the yellow field over there. He's over by. The, oh, where'd he go? Well, he may have. He may have disappeared. He may have. He, he disappeared. He's not where he was. Okay. I see cows. Cows. Are those cows or horses? These things, like what I'm standing next to. They're in the meadow. Like where I am. Hang on. What's that? Oh, black bunny. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah, there's some cows over here. There's also lava, so please be careful. Okay, yeah, no repeats. Do we need some leather? Um, my inventory's kind of full, so... We can always make leather from the cows at our place. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. So there's the jungle biome over here to off to our left. And then there's giant mushrooms on top of what appears to be another extreme hills biome. Another what biome? Extreme hills. Where's the doggy land? Um, it should be some around here. It should be, some of this should be taiga. Usually taiga's like a lot of big trees. So there's a big spruce tree over this way. Let's head over there. Was that you taking fall damage? Yes, because I fell. Well, because I... gracefully uh, went down the mountain. Oh. Oh, that's an interesting tree. What's that? Which which one? The one to your right. This one straight ahead of me? Yeah. That's a spruce tree. <coughs> and is that like a coyote uh, statue up, up ahead? Coyote statue? To your right. <laughs> uh, it's just an interesting rock formation. And then a bear on the mountain. Yeah. Okay. Um. Hmm. So we. <coughs> Bowser. So we got swamps over here. We got a little swamp land. Bowser wants us to find a dog. I know. I want us to find a dog. Just out of curiosity, do you have any idea how to get us home? Yeah. We're actually kind of heading towards home right now. So we got some snowy 
spruce trees up ahead here. Let's go look up there. Maybe that's a taiga. You have a compass, right? Yep. Okay. Which means you can get home. True. I was just curious if you knew the actual. One. I I don't have a I don't have a sense of where we are in relation. I just know that we're kind of walking in that direction at the moment. Oh, oh Bowser. Stream Hills Plus. Okay. Doesn't help. Pigs. Okay, well, we're just going to start heading back homeward. And hopefully we come across a taiga. And some puppies. Ooh, creeper in a cave. Where? Over to my left. Down below? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Down there. Okay, we can ignore him. Just keep walking. I also hear lava. What? I hear lava. So there's probably a pool of lava underneath some of this rock. Um, okay, so home's kind of that way. Um, home straight ahead, right? Pretty much. It's kind of that direction. According to the compass? Yeah. Okay. Careful, some of this is steep. But if you're just top down just a bit, you can make it. <laughs> or you can just. You're probably going too quickly when you go down hills like that. Gravity is uh, quite a force. Well, if you, if you go too far before you drop. Oh, well, if you jump off a four tall cliff, that's going to hurt. Okay, where are you? Right here. No, not that way. Clancy! Clancy! Hey, that's enough. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, doggies. Where are you? Hey! So you see where I'm going, right? I want to go up into these, these snowy hills. Look at that lovely waterfall. Oh, wow. That's impressive. Hi, pigs. Hey, pigs. Where are the dogs? Bah ram you. <laughs> okay, what is this here? Extreme Hills. Darn. Oops. <laughs> I hear another dog. Okay, so we've got more jungle off to our head and to the left. Where'd you go? I've kind of lost you. Oh, there you are. Woo! I'm right above you. No, the pig's right above me. Oh, there you are. I'm above the pig. So we're still in extreme hills here, but... So we're gonna... Whoa! Home is oh I got I got a little turned around. So home is over look to the left ish. Wait, where are you? According to my compass. So according to this it's past the valley over that next mountain range past the jungle. Oh the map? No, I, the compass that I have. It's that way. Towards the setting sun. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's keep walking along to the south. Where are you? Right below you. Oh, straight down. Oops. Did I fall on you? No. You're still behind me a bit.
Okay. We've been recording for a while, so I think we should call that it. That's really boring. Yeah. Um, and we will... When we find a doggy area, or at least the right biome.